Searching for life on Mars Research in the Atacama Desert they point to a possible obstacle. An international group of scientists suggested that the instruments present in rovers sent to the Red Planet for collection and analysis evidence of past life there may not be sensitive enough to make accurate assessments. New research conducted on what is considered the oldest the desert of the world shows that the technology with which they were equipped Martian rovers are not always able to detect traces of life on the surface of our planet, not to mention Mars. The Atacama Desert in Chile contains sand and rocks rich in hematite and mudstone. Geologically, this region is quite similar to parts of surfaces found on Mars. So astrobiologists often they use it as a model for the red planet. The desert is considered second the driest place on our planet, only stones, dust, and salt lakes. CO could it survive in a place like this? It turns out that something could have happened after all. A group of scientists used scientific instruments in the desert which either are already on Martian landers or rovers or they will be placed on them in the future. They wanted to see if they would check when identifying biomarkers and DNA and whether they will be the same and as good as laboratory instruments. They found that the samples taken at Atacama contained numerous microorganisms with unspecified classification, what they called dark microbiome. Further analyses also showed a mixture of present and ancient biosignatures microorganisms that could barely be detected using the most modern laboratory equipment. Scientists had significant problems identifying many of the organisms whose genetic material was found. Existing bases the data here turned out to be insufficient. This showed that the equipment was sent to Mars and search life may not be sensitive enough. Scientists emphasized the need having more powerful tools. However, they also noticed that those sent to Mars is the result of a compromise between weight, strength, and measurement precision. However, what research results tell us about the potential the usefulness of the instruments used in the context of searching for life on Mars. While in fact they managed to find numerous traces of life on the Atacama, However, they may not be sensitive enough to cope with the same task on the Red Planet. Scientists believe that if possible genetic material on Mars it would be really old and trace, there would be a risk that it would be applied tools simply wouldn't notice him. Besides, to confirm the accomplishment such a discovery, the collected samples would have to be transported to anyway Earth, for full analysis purposes. The team responsible for the described research The research hopes that the results they obtained will prove useful for NASA and ESA.